Hey everybody, it's Savage Sage, and welcome back to my playthrough of Tales of Berseria. In the last episode, some very serious stuff went down, so if you did not see it, make sure you check it out, because you will be immensely spoiled. Um, for anything, I kind of want to do stuff here. Thank you for getting me the Eater of Gold stuff. Um, and then we'll check out the shop here before we take off anywhere. I really can't fathom what the Abbey is doing. Even if they did let us know on purpose, why would they leave us be? I would have expected them to press the attack against us. Even if their aim is to capture our allies as some kind of leverage against us, their plan is too many holes. What if we decided to abandon Kamuana and the others? They'd be no closer to capturing Velvet. Do they actually want the Therians back? What are you saying? Why did Melchior place that illusion on a ball to lure Velvet in? That was so he could capture her. Right? And in case he couldn't capture her, he could kill her and create another Therian. Okay. So if securing the Therians is so important to them, why would they throw Orthrus to the winds? That's a puzzler. Melchior was right there, and he didn't try to protect Orthrus at all. I don't understand it. It's like they're toying with us. I don't see any point in that either. They must know we won't give up. Actually, that could be close to the mark. What if they're just trying to rattle us? Everything would fit, including the assault on Titania. Whatever's going on, I don't think we're going to like it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to like it either, actually. So, Eleanor, about that armada Oscar used, was that something the Abbey has been working on for a while? I was never involved in weapons development or anything like that, but I did hear of a secret research division. Word was that they were deciphering ancient scrolls and books coming from every corner of the Empire. Apparently, Teresa knew something of the ancient tongue, and they called her in to help from time to time. Did she work on Enominat's book? I was never privy to any of the details, but I think the books were mostly about controlling Malachim. Well, that Siegfried thing of Zavid's is some kind of power control device, right? The Abbey probably learned about Siegfried in one of those books, and realized they could use it to armatize. So Melchior tracked Zavid down and stole the formula. Makes sense. It was all so they could create the Armatus. Will Eifried be alright? Complete or not, they've seen that they can use the Armatus in battle. They have no use for him anymore. <sighs> Let's get back to Titania, Aizen. I'll help out with the ship. Right. Let's set sail. Alright, so let's talk to the shopkeep first and foremost. Do you have anything new for me? These seem new, but I already own them, you know. These seem new, but I already own, own them. Those just seem straight up old. I pretty much own everything you're offering to me right now. <laughs> Which is fine, it's not the end of the world. We can get, hmm... I guess I'll say some grape gels would be nice, right? So let's get like seven of those. We're good on life bottles. We're good on these. Um, Denor bottles. I mean, I want more. Enough bottles. I want more. Other than that, let's see if I need to dismantle anything, right? So these are all mastered. Go ahead and dismantle them all. Any... Oh, you do not need this many Feldspar Diagers. Once you get there, boy, you're going to be so shook. Oh, and you finish your feeble daggers. I guess that's true. Hold on. Because, duh, we mastered a lot of things in the last one. That I haven't quite had a chance to look at yet. As far as garments, you're as good as they come, Velvet. Um, these ones, you managed the shock ward. Wow, you still haven't done the flame ward? You silly girl. Let's get you on there. And these are all still being worked on. You're still working on all these, except you did get this done, so we can move you up to that. You're so close to being done with that. Summertime, Wastecloth, sure. Because you're working on that one, and you pretty much worked everything else, so sure, summertime! Yay. You're still working on all those. Rokuro's still working on all these, except for these. Now you're onto the Cumbrous Daggers. Hopefully they'll be useful eventually. But yeah, so you're good there. Aizen, did you learn anything new? The Feldspar shoes you've finished. So now we're on to these. The quartz shoes. 
Great for you. All right, other than that, everybody's good. No more garments for velvet. That sucks. Back to what I was doing. Dismantling. You're done with those. You're done with those. You don't need this one or this one if you already got that one equipped. Same with that doll. You still need all of these, Eleanor. Jesus Christ. As far as belts, anything that she's mastered, we can get rid of. Damn, you've had a lot of them, Velvet. You still have a lot of tribes to go through, Rokuro. You still have quite a few bags to go through, Lafayette. Set, but you have some done. You still need to go through all those. You still need to go through all those. You still need to go through all yours. As far as waist cloths, the Amphibles were done with. Amber should have been done with forever ago. With these garments, the Amphibles one she still needs. She's on the last garish pink one, so that's fine. And then for these, I mean, we need as many as we can get, but like... No, I guess we're still kind of all over the place. We'll keep all of those. Now, let's enhance some things if we can. Yeah, make that wean harvester better, because that thing sucks. When you get to them, this feldspar paper will be cool for you, bud. You're on the feldspar bracelet. Might as well work that up. Get your floric spear all the way up. Yeah, as far as belts and stuff, what else could we... Your charm. Let's get this floric charm up. The feeble charm. Sure, get that up. The feeble charm for him. Sure. Any of these. I mean, she needs them all. Oh, this amber one. We could have pumped up a lot. Damn, it's crazy how much she needs. And then this one, I guess, get the shock ward up more. Get the slow ward up more. And then that's it. We're saving pretty much everything else. I just wanted to get those taken care of. So they're taken care of. Yep, we're off to Titania. Well, it actually lets us go wherever. But I don't think I am pretty much anything else to do except for go to Titania right now. So let's do it. Bienfu. Miss Mogilu! I'm surprised I didn't sense it. There is a Gesh on you, interfering with our pact. <laughs> well played, Melchior. Impressive. That old man must have planned all of this, from the very moment you escaped me. Even my imprisonment in Titania and my encounter with Velvet. All calculated down to the minute. Huh, nice. F forgive me, Miss Mogilu. There was no way I could fight against Lord Melchior's arts. Uh, I don't care. I don't care about anything. And I don't care that I don't. Listening. We heard it all. Ugh, boring. Fine then, do with us what you will. It's not like I trusted you to begin with. Spy or no spy, this was inevitable. Besides, you're not sorry. Make yourself useful and fight for us. <sighs> you're good at this cruelty that's also compassion thing, aren't you? 
I just don't have the time to deal with you two. After this whole business is over with, I'll devour you, if that's what you want. Hey, Velvet. Tell me, what does it feel like to... hate? Does it torment you? Is it agony? Does the searing fire of your hatred empower you to feel? Does it give your life meaning where there was none? <laughs> Land ho! Titania! There's an Abbey ship in the front docks! Take us around back! If you want your answer, fight by my side. You'll see at the very moment I kill Artorius. In the face of doom, still the crow caws defiantly. <laughs> you really know how to vex me. I mean, there were kind of signs that there was a rat this whole time, but Bienfu would have been more likely that it was Eleanor. Or even Mogilu herself, but Bienfu. So, you're using the Forbidden Arts. This has to be Melchior's doing. Lord of Calamity is here, bitches. The Lord of Calamity. That again? What a melodramatic name. It's what you're called by the scores of citizens whose lives you've ruined. Face the enormity of your sins. What idiocy. Huh. We'll carve the weight of your sin from your flesh. We are the wings of the divine will. <laughs> As expected. If you've played Tales of Zestaria, this makes a lot more sense, the whole Armatus thing. But essentially, the Armatus is like a, um, a weapon that you can get based on the element of the Moloch. So, like, he has those stones because it's an Earth Moloch. Um, just for clarification, if you're completely blind to the Tales series. I do plan on playing... Zestaria first, and I guess story-wise it would make more sense if I played Zestaria before Berseria, but um, I personally just think that Berseria is the best Tales game, and they're both standalone regardless. It's just like small little nuances like that that are connected. Um, but they're both standalone, and I love Berseria, probably my favorite Tales game. working on the critical passages at the very end. All of you, get on board the Von Eltia. I'll find the Therians. Oh? You really think we can make it past a horde of armatized exorcists? Stay behind. I don't care. <sighs> don't touch that! You don't have to do this alone. We're all in this together. And I promise. I promise I'll protect you, Velvet. You'll protect me. Long ago, Luffy said the same thing. But that sort of idealistic drivel will kill you. Make your worthless promises. They won't change reality. 
Look what happened to Wafi. Dead. Murdered. And I... I couldn't protect him either. In the end, no matter how much he cared for me, my only brother, he... His life torn away from him. Oh, it must have hurt. Velvet. You worry about yourself, Luffy said. That's an order. An... an order. We have to keep Inominat out of the picture. So that I can kill Artorias. Poor Fee, he takes uh, the whole Let's order go. thing pretty rough. Push the enemy back and keep an eye out for the Therians. Mm. Yeah, Velvet, you made him feel like shit. I mean, I kind of get where Velvet's coming from. She's just in like go mode right now. She's gonna give everybody orders. It's not specifically because he's a Moloch. Fuck you, being foo. Melchior is a clever one, isn't he? Planting his spy right next to Magilu. After all, a forest is the best place to hide a tree. Melchior used his arts to place orders on Bienfu that overrode Magilu's pact. <sighs> that son of a dog. <laughs> Please don't hate me! I meant Melchior, not you. Really? Exerting control over someone else's life goes against everything Aizen stands for. We know you were forced to do it against your will. But my spying put everyone in serious danger. That's still a fact. The Bloodwings also knew what we were up to. The Abbey would have figured it out with or without you. What'd you tell them anyway? Um, uh, that Velvet is actually pretty good wife material? And what fishing rods Aizen prefers? And what Miss Mogulu says in her sleep? And how fast Dial's tail regrows? What? That's what you told them? It's done. Pay it no more heed. But things must be set aright. Aright? How? Eleanor, I apologize for suspecting you. I'm sorry. Aizen? That's right! I must apologize as well! I'm deeply sorry, Lady Eleanor! Very well. Apologies accepted all around. I mean, it would have made sense if it was Eleanor. I don't... I mean, good for on Aizen to apologize, but... He was... He was right-minded, I think. Are exorcists using armatization aware that it could cost them their lives? I'm sure they are. If I were still with the Abbey... I would likely be using an Armatus too. Endangering one's own life in order to save the many? It's the logical choice. But using something that dangerous so frequently in battle is absolutely wrong. The Abbey must be starting to feel the pressure too. Even so, the losses are unacceptably high. That's how badly they want the Therians, and how big a threat we represent. Or it could be that it has nothing to do with us and the real point is to test their new weapon. That can't be. It's all an experiment? A blade proves its true worth by making it through battle unbroken. Are exorcists all that different? Your logic is sound, but it's still awful. We were able to survive this time, but it won't be much longer until they've perfected the armatization. That's not the only thing we need to worry about where ticking clocks are concerned. Am I wrong? Velvet. It doesn't matter. We kill whoever gets in our way. Ooh, my expedition. Nice. Go Ooh. Well, we still haven't gotten everything in the Force Islands. We got like three things left to get, so we're going back. Let's see. Do I need to go this way first? I kind of forget if it's important to or not. And once again, Titania is a dungeon again. I don't think there's anybody up here, but I thought I should check anyway, right? Just to be safe. 
Because, I mean, I could maybe see somebody trapped up here. Nope. Okay, we're good. I just had to check. Luckily, it's easy to get down that. Like, it's pretty quick. You don't have to worry too much. Alright, obviously, there's going to be new enemies around here. So, we'll probably want to get some kind of grade boost going. But I also want to try to get to a good stopping point for the episode. So, we're going to rush just a little bit on some things. Sir, please die. They are tougher, though. I mean, we're out here fighting them. Come here, I'm gonna eat ya. Yeah, Rokuro fucking rips shit up with me. It's great. Victory is ours. Nice, Lafayette Set mastered his satchel. So we'll move on to the Feldspar bag. And I think I'd like to just put you right in there. Right in there, Rokuro. First they robbed the Malakim of their will. And now their bodies, too. Makes me sick. But still, it fits their reason. They want strength. And no one can squeeze strength from a Moloch like that one. That is true. They are squeezing all the strength out of the Molochs that they can get. Here's some new enemies. More of the witch enemies that we've seen before. They're not too bad. Little, little demi-humans. But yeah, they're pretty easy to take out, actually. They're not bad at all. Lit. Blue Inferno. Nice. Come over here. Hey, is everyone all right? Yeah, everyone's good. Um, I think we need to go up here to the right. Try to get that shit. Oh, these snakes are new. Guess we might as well show them off. They're Apodus, of course. As they've all been. Break boost, not bad. And then, of course, the Witch, too. We can get that one out pretty easy, though. Yeah, she doesn't take much at all. Get the Apodus out of there. Who's next? Another Apodus one. Perfect. Alright, let's keep going. Who else can we save? Is this a way to go? Like, why... Why did they include this place? Why am I still able to go check this out? Any reason or no? Or we might just have to go deeper into the break cells. I guess this is maybe just a chest I never came and got? Probably. <laughs> it's an amphibole belt. That seems kind of old, doesn't it? Okay, oops. Looks like we'll have to pass by the shop like that way to go deeper. They're probably all in like the prisons or something. That makes sense. That's a better place to make a last stand type of situation happen. <laughs> Why does it have to be you? Do you have anything new, sir? Mm, not really, no. Nope, we already have everything you have to offer, so goodbye, turtles. You're lucky this time, bud. This time. Not next time. Next time, we'll kill you. So, you all got away. It was all I could do to flee. I have lost face. You don't have a face! Uh, I was so scared! It's okay now, dear. I won't let them cause you any more pain. Medissa was the one who saved us. Thank you. I could never forgive them for involving children. That's all. Kuragane, head to the rear docks. Keep them safe. If you find the prince and Griffin, take the Von Eltia and escape. As you wish. Rokuro, take the Storm Quell. I made it with the Orichalcum you gave me. You actually did it. I abandoned all desire and forged it with a clear mind. 
You will find no harder sword in all the world. Stormquell. Made from Orichalcum. I'll use it well, Kurogane. Well, shit, that's a big upgrade for, uh, Mr. Rokuro there. Let's see, I forget. I think there is a save point down here. At some point. Uh, it's complete! The Orichalcum Blade, Stormquell! It's the hardest blade the world has ever known. Even to an untrained eye, that sword is obviously something special. Kurogane is a real master! Color me amazed! The God Blade Storm Howl versus the Orichalcum Storm Quell. This will be something to see. Will it end in triumph, or will you need to try more oomph? The gods alone know. The gods have nothing to do with it. Skill alone will determine who lives and who dies. All right, fair enough, Rokuro. Managed to avoid capture, huh, Prince? As did you. You did well to avoid Artorius and his forces. Lord Artorius is here? He is. I overheard some exorcists mention it. Artorius. If you want to die, do it alone. We're saving the Therians before anything else. Besides, we're so close to deciphering the ancient book. I know. We'll escape from the rear docks. Follow me. Watch out, Princey Wincy. You ain't no Therian. If Griffin gets there first, we're leaving you behind. Uh, understood. <laughs> Jesus, Muggy Lou. So do I need to... Oh, I can't just run to the back docks. Well, that's dumb. I think he's the last one, right? I don't need anything else. Escape via the back docks. Yeah, okay. Let's turn around the way we came. And there's definitely a save point there. Let's use our board so we can move faster. Wait, no, no, no. This is right, right? Because Prince Percival was up there, and I was like, oh, there's the corner to the left. Mm. Don't turn me around like that game. It is. This is the right way. We just got to go whoop. And then whoop. It's weird, Lord Artorius himself is here, so they're making a full-on assault here at the docks. How rude. Will Artorius use an Armatus as well? I don't know. It's hard to believe that the Abbey's leader would risk using an art that could end his own life, but... The Shepherd's reputation would be ruined if he self-destructed over some botched formula. On the other hand... If the risk is based on the user's ability, then the Legates might not have any trouble. So if Artorius were to try, he'd Armatize with Inominat. Can an Empyrean be used as an Armatus? I'm not even sure Artorius can handle that. He'll do it. Why else would he try to revive Inominat? But we're talking about an Empyrean! He'll succeed. I'm certain of it. This is the Shepherd Artorius we're talking about here. Whether God or Devil stands in his way. He won't be swayed. That's who he is. Velvet! But it won't save him. He'll die by my hand. Empyrean or no Empyrean. Well, there you go, Velvet. She's still as determined as ever, that's for sure. Alright, let's avoid you guys. For now. Avoid them for now. Pretty sure it was this way. To the back docks. Don't get me mistaken. But I'm pretty sure. Oh, wrong way. And there's a save point right out at here, so. Ison, there's trouble. The enemy found the Von Eltia. Several enemy ships are heading this way right now. Set sail now. Save everyone. Though that you gotta go, bitch. There's no escape, Lord of Calamity. Benwick, forget me. Take the Von Altia and leave. Now. That's madness. What do you think you're doing? If I don't take them down. They'll sink you from afar. Raise anchor. 
We'll make it through somehow. Aye, aye. But don't die. You hear me? Crazy kids. We're not going to die. We're going to kill. Fair enough, let's get him, Velvet. Let's get him. She jumped right in there. You see that shit? We're getting crazy. You can try to punch Velvet all you want. She don't give two shits. Boom. What do we do now? We'll head to the front docks. To steal an Abbey ship, I take it. That's where the Abbey's main forces will be concentrated. And Lord Artoria should be there too. All the better. But we still don't have a way to fight Inomina. I told you, if you want to die, do it alone. I'm not asking you to come with me. Use me. Percival. Don't worry. Griffin got away. If you use me as a hostage, you should be able to steal a ship. I owe you one for this. But don't expect gratitude. I don't. Looks like this is our best and only bet. I mean, I guess that does work. Well, let's go save. In the next episode, we will uh, try to escape and see if we can actually survive here with all the Armadas and that kind of bullshit going down. Make sure to smash that like button for me to show you support for the series. Subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.